Hello mga Matusiast! Welcome back sa ating YouTube channel kung saan ang mat ay mas pinadadali at mas minamahal. For today's video, we're down to your last learning task for radical equations sa Ito na ngayon, yung problem solving involving radical equations. Hala, last na to. Nakakainis naman. Okay, pero bago ko simulan ang video na ito, siguraduhin na Unang, napindot nyo na dyan ang like button. At kung bago ka pa lang sa aming YouTube channel, pindutin mo na rin dyan ang subscribe button. At ihit mo na rin ang notification bell para lagi kang maging updated sa mga videos na i-upload ko. Okay na? Na-like, na-subscribe at na-hit nyo ba? Or na-hit nyo na ba ang notification bell? Kung okay na, simulan na natin. Okay, so we have here twice the square root of a number is 16. So you have to find for the number. Yung mga first quarter pa lang, subscriber ko na, alam na alam nila, nakapag problem solving, sinasabi ko sa kanila na wag na wag nyo muna siyang i-judge. Minsan kasi, kababasa pa lang ng problem, feeling nila mahirap na, na-judge na agad, hindi na nabigyan ng pagkakataan taon si problem na intindihin, di ba? So, bago nyo i-judge, intindihin nyo muna siya kasi baka naman mamaya yung pagkakakilala mo sa kanya ay hindi naman pala ganun. Katulad nito, syempre, sa unang tingin, sa unang basa, kung di mo iintindihin, di ba? Feeling mo, ang hirap-hirap, di ba? Pero, hindi. Okay? So, halika na. Intindihin na natin siya. Okay, twice the square root of a number is 16. Sabi niya, yung doble, natatandaan niyo to, yung word na twice means doblehin. Yung square root, okay, ng isang number which we do not know, ang sagot doon ay 16. Okay? Dahil hindi natin alam tong number na to, edi ininame natin siya as x. So, you have x. Yung square root daw ng x, yung twice daw ng square root ng x ay equals kay 16. O dahil marunong na tayo mag-solve ng radical equations, sisiw na sisiw na sa atin to. Chicken. Kung sa kanila chicken, sa atin sisiw. Ha? So, anong gagawin natin? Siyempre, i-divide natin siya by 2. Okay, makakancel ito. You will have your square root of x. Equals to 16 divided by 2, you have there 8. O, tatanggalin natin to, no? How? By squaring it, ba? Para makancel natin. So, you, what you will have here is x equals to what is 8 squared or 8 times 8. You have 64. O, ayan na, ba? O, judgmental kayo. Ang dali naman ni. Eh. Okay. So, for number 2, we have here the square root of a number increased by 9 is 27. Find the number. So, dahil dyan, tanggalin na muna natin ito at i-interpret muna natin. Okay. Intindihin muna. The square root of a number, so hindi natin alam ulit yung value, ay dinagdagan daw ng 5. Tapos, nung dinagdagan ng lima, ng sham or nung 9. <laughs> Tapos, ang naging sagot ay 27. So, hahanapin natin yung number. So, we have here the square root of a number. So, yung number, hindi natin alam. Kunin natin yung square root niya. I-increase natin ng 9. Tapos, yung is kasi, mga anak, ang ibig sabihin niya ay equal. So, you have here equal 27. O. Oh. Diba? Alam nyo na yan? Para maiwan ito at ma-square natin siya mamaya, ma-eliminate natin yung square root, kailangan muna ilipat natin si 9 dito. Kaya magiging, ano to, uh, square root of x is equal to 27. From positive, magiging negative na siya. And then you will have your square root of x is equal to 27 minus 9. Ilan yan? That's, aha, uh aha, -huh, aha, uh -huh, uh -huh, 18. Okay. And then, we square it. Ang laking number pala yung naibigay ko. And then, we cancel. So, you will have your x is equal to 18 squared. So, isolve lang natin. 18 times 18. 8 times 8. 64. Carry 6. 8 times 1 is 8. Plus 6. You have 24. 
Ah, tama ba? 14 pala. <laughs> oh, wait, wait. Ayan, 14. Tama, no? Wait. Ay, sorry. So, you have there 14, and then you have 8, and then you have 1. And then 4, 8 plus 4, you have 12, carry 1. And then 1 plus 1 plus 1, you have 324. O, oh, ayan, pag mga wala kasing x and y, tas nag a ako, naka, parang ang hirap, hirap na sa akin. Parang mas maganda sa akin yung may mga letters. Pag ganto ng simple, ang hirap nang isipin ang sagot, ang hirap mag-mental. Ha? Ewan ko ba kay ma'am? Okay, so we have this one. So, kung may mga variables. Okay. Now, for number 3, we have here, find the square root of the sum of twice a number and 4 is 8. So, we have to find for the number. O, sige, interpret natin ha. Parang ang komplikado, no? The square root of the sum. So, yung square root daw ng sum, ibig sabihin, sa loob ng square root, meron kang... Uh, isa sum, i-a-add, of twice a number, sum of twice a number and 4. So, eto, saka eto, kailangan natin kunin yung sum nila, okay, sa loob ng square root. So, you will have here twice a number and 4. So, the sum of twice a number and 4, ayan yan. And then, the square root is equal to 8 daw. So, what is the number? So, paano natin gagawin yan? No choice tayo, automatic. Kailangan matanggal natin yung square root. So, we square it. And then, cancel, cancel. Wait lang, may titignan lang ako. Okay. And then, you have here now 2x plus 4 equals 2. You know that this is 64. And then, kailangan natin ma-solve ito. So, ilipat natin si 4. Being positive, magiging negative na siya. So, 2x is equal to 64 minus 4. So, you will have here 2x is equal to 60. Kasi 64 minus 4. So, what is now this one? Kasi hindi pa to x, kailangan matanggal si 2 by dividing it. So, cancel. So, your x will be equal to 30. Ayan na siya. Okay? The perimeter of the square is 35 and the side is square root of x plus 3. So, we have to find for the number. Kung hindi nyo ma-imagine ano ang square, o di ito drawing ko. O, ayan. At alam naman natin na kapag square, ang ibig sabihin nun, lahat ng side niya ay equal. Having that... Kung alam mo na ito ay square root of x plus 3, it follows na lahat ng side square root of x plus 3 din. At ang perimeter natin, to get that, di ba, we have to add side plus side, o side 1 plus side 2 plus side 3 plus side 4, or s plus s plus s plus s. Or dahil pare-parehas naman yan, you just have to multiply it by 4. Okay, so dahil alam natin yung formula now for the perimeter, edi solve na natin. So, we have here 4 times, ano ba yung side niya? Square root of x plus 3. And then, that is equal to 35. Okay, para ma-eliminate si 4, you just simply divide it, di ba? Kaya, ang matitira dito ay square root of x plus 3 equals to 35 over 4. And then, para matanggal si square root, alam nyo na yan, square nyo lang siya. And then, you cancel this one. And then, naka-square ito. So, what is 35 squared? O, ayan na naman tayo sa basic math. Okay? So, we have 5 times 5. We have 25. Carry 2. 5 times 3 is 15 plus 1. You have 17 plus 1. Plus 2 pala, ha? So, we have here, 3 times 5, you have 15 also. And then, we have here, 3 times 3 is 9 plus 1, you have 10. So, you will have here 5, 7 plus 5 is 2, carry 1. 1 plus 1 is 2, and then you have 1 here. So, that's 1,225. 1,225. Siyempre, square mo rin to. Kaya, ito ay magiging 16. 
ba? Diba? Ang matitira na lang dito ay x plus 3. Para masolve si x, ilipat nyo si 3 dito. Having that, x na lang ito, tapos being positive, magiging negative na siya paglipat. Okay? Over 16, copy lang, minus 3. And then, dahil fraction yan, wag matakot, ha? Hindi kinatatakutan ng fraction. Ano ang LCD ng 16 and 1? Kasi over 1 yan, so you have 16. 16 divided by 16 is simply 1 times this 1 is still this 1. 1,225. Minus 16 divided by 1 is 16 times 3, you have 48. And then, isubtract nyo siya. Ano ang 125 or 1,225 minus 48? Nung minental ko yan, ang laging sagot dyan ay 1,177. Over 16. Ha? Ako, okay na ako sa sagot na to na fraction, ha? Pero if you want to make it mix a fraction, pwede din naman. Or kung gusto nyo siyang gawing decimal, okay lang din naman. So, that is, or pwedeng or, 73.56. Kasi baka mamaya mag-comment kayo dyan sa baba. Ma'am, ano po ba? Okay na po ba ito? Ma'am, okay lang po ba na mix fraction? Ma'am, okay lang po ba na decimal? Okay lang, ha? Still, pare-pareho naman silang equal sa isa't isa. Okay? For number 5, the circumference of the circle, which is C is equal to 2 pi R, ito yung formula niya, binigay na sa inyo, is 28 centimeters. And the radius is the square root of X plus 3, so you have to find for the value of X and its radius. Okay, so maswerte nga tayo kasi may formula na. So you will have here 2 pi R equal C. So, ang C natin, ito yung 28 at ang ating R ay ito. Ayan. So, let's substitute. 2 pi and then your radius which is square root of x plus 3 equals to your C which is 28. Okay. O, anong gagawin natin dyan? Kung titignan natin ng hirap, no? Kasi may pi pi pa dyan. Ano ba yan, Teacher Maria? O, di, sige. Kayang-kaya natin yan. O, oh, ituturo na ni teacher. So, you have here 2 pi. O, oh, bakit meron dito? Kasi kailangan natin ma-eliminate to. So, kailangan i-divide natin yan by 2 pi. Okay? O, oh, now, kung mapapansin nyo yung 28, di ba? Pwedeng ma-divide ma by 2. O, oh, i-simplify muna natin siya. So, you will have here the square root of x plus 3 equals to, what is 28 divided by 2? 14. Tapos, nasa ilalim yung pi natin. O, wag mga ambay, sulat lang dyan. Ha? Wag muna natin siyang pakialaman. Okay, and then we square it. Para matanggal yung square root natin. So, uh, cancel yan, cancel yan. So, you will have here now the square root of, ano? Ay, wala ng square root pala. You will have your x plus 3 equals to what is 14 squared? Okay, times nga, 14 times 14, we have here 16, carry 1, 4, and then 5. So, we have here 4, and then 1 times 1 is 1. So, you have 6, 9, 1. You have 196 over pi squared. Okay? So, para masolve natin yung x, ilipat lang natin si 3. So, we'll, ha we'll have here x is equal to 196 over pi pi squared minus 3. O, okay na nasagot yan, ha? Pero, kung gusto nyo naman, eto, okay na sa akin to kung ako yung teacher no, pero itanong nyo sa teacher no, ano ba, isisimplify nyo ba yung pi? Pwede rin naman, kasi ang value ng pi natin ay 3.14. So, ang gawin nyo, 196 over 3.14 times 3.14, ha? Saka nyo i-minus yung 3. Okay lang na decimal ang answer. If you want to simplify, kung gusto nyo maglagay ng or pa dyan, ha? Okay, gusto nyo ba? O, sige na nga, para... Alam nyo kung anong gagawin ninyo. Kasi ako, okay na sa akin. Kasi alam ko naman yung value ng pi ay 3.14. Pero some will have or will require you about that. Ngayon, edi lagyan mo na lang ng or. O, sige ha. 
O, ilalagay ko dito. This will be x equals to 196. Pag in-square ko ang 3.14, that will be 9.86. Kasi i-round up ko, it should be 9.859. Pero dahil ang katabi ng 5 ay 9, i-round off natin. So, this will be 9.86 minus 3. Kung i-divide ko naman ang 196 by 9.86, that will be 19.88 minus 3. This will become, o, oh, 19 minus 3. Ayan na naman tayo, eh. May mental math na naman. So, you have here 16.88. Okay? So, eto kasi, exact yung answer. Hindi tayo nag-round off. Eto, na-approximate lang natin kasi nag-round off tayo, ha? But still, they are both correct. Ako lang, okay na ako dito. Okay? Oh, dahil medyo mahaba na ang video na ito, tapusin ko muna ah, nakaredy naman na yung 6 to 10 natin. Bitinin ko lang kayo saglit. At syempre, kagaya ng lagi kong sinasabi, huwag aalis dito ha, nang hindi man lang nagiiwan ng comment para ma-up natin itong video na to at makita din ng iba na kailangan ng ating mga tulong. Kaya sana huwag kayong magsawang mag-comment dyan. Alam nyo naman yan, di ba? Kailangan ni Teacher Maria yan. At syempre, bisitahin nyo na din ang ating Facebook page at i-follow. Sige na, i-follow nyo na. Okay, let's spread the love of math. Thank you and bye!